I'm putting this kit together with Sippy for her normal everyday activities. And I thought of this. It's a lunchbox. Or is it? Is it a lunchbox? It could be a gas mask and a filter. Bum bum bum. That gray man or rain gray woman. Gray woman. Unicorn woman. All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Today we're going to be doing part of the BOV series. This is just things to think about. I got a lot of stuff on the table, but it's a lot easier for me to lay it out on the table and talk about it than it is to sit and pull it all out of my vehicle and show it to you. But these are some of the things that I would maybe suggest for, for some of you out there that have, you know, it doesn't matter if you drive a Chevy, a Ford, a Toyota, and you know, the, the Suzuki Slammerize, the Geo Trackers, uh, Jeeps, uh, does not matter. I mean, I could sit here and name off a ton of different vehicles. Did I say Toyota? I think I said Toyota. Got to make sure. You know, you got those Forerunner guys out there and you got people that drive FJs and stuff like that. So I'm going to pull you over here and we're going to talk about stuff. Now, some of this stuff might get a little bit crazy. I'm talking SHTF scenario, not just your daily driver routines and and so forth, but also options for you in a situation where you're it's a BOV. It, it is what it is, a bug out vehicle. So let's get into it and let's talk about some of these items. When you think about SHTF and you think about some of the crazy stuff you could encounter, people always like to throw out the scenarios like we're in some kind of crazy post-apocalyptic film and, <laughs> and uh, the suggestion always gets thrown out you know what if your vehicle gets bullet holes you know that's always <laughs> bullet holes. why not all right so if your vehicle gets bullet holes you know like say a radiator or you've got that optima battery optima battery would be a good choice to run this it's more to life than just jumper cables okay and these are usually things that nobody really thinks about throwing in their vehicle a change of oil. All right, I've just got this laid up here, but this is a change of oil, okay? So I got a change of oil over here for a Toyota, and then over here I've got a change of oil for a Chevy, okay? And then, you know, for your V8s and stuff. So a lot of people don't think about, you know, I've got spare jerry cans on the back of my vehicle, okay? I got a couple of jerry cans back there for spare fuel. I also keep extra water in there. We'll get more into my vehicle as this series continues. And some of the other stuff around around me. So we'll start, you know, unraveling some of this stuff and showing you some more options. But cooling system. A lot of people don't think about, well, when you lose coolant, do you want to just dump water in it? Dead of winter, you probably don't want to go dumping just water in your vehicle. It's not a good idea. So having 50-50 stashed in your vehicle, if you've got enough room for it, if it is a BOV, then you've got a place to stash something like this. It is what it is. It's a BOV. Um, coolant system repair, bar leaks, that's probably the best one to get. This is the best one to buy. And if you're familiar, like bar leak will literally, if you've got a dime size hole, it'll just about fill it. So it's always a good option, you know, that goes back into bullet holes. So bullet hole in a radiator, this would probably be a good option along with your JB Weld quick seal. Like this is the steel stick. You basically cut off a chunk of it, wad it up in your fingers and slap it onto what it, now they do make a, a wet seal. The JB Weld also makes the wet seal. The wet seal is, uh, you know, more for liquids and stuff, but this will still work on, uh, you know, an engine block or you know, all sorts of other options. Okay. You can use it for many other, uh, uses. There's, it's pretty endless for JB Weld. Everybody has at one point used JB Weld. The liquid kind takes a long time to dry. That's why I use the stick. The stick, it dries within minutes. And so that's that's this. Let's just kind of get that out of the way. That's this. That's for repairing a radiator. And then going with repairing, when it comes to your, um, co your coolant hoses, all your hoses, 
Now, what you're going to want for coolant hoses, if you happen to get a tear or hole in it, you're going to want some Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape works great on rubber hoses. I've had to use it before on a tear and a hose, and it repaired it, and it lasted for a very long time before I actually had to go buy a hose, so it's good to know. This also works great on drive shafts. You throw some caps in a, uh, a universal joint. Uh, you can you can actually wrap this around. I uh, I had a blowout in a uh, universal joint and actually was using Gorilla Tape to repair it. I just wrapped Gorilla Tape around it. Duct tape will work too on a drive shaft, but this, this is actually pretty good for that. Also, this will work to repair like an Optima battery that has a hole in it. You can repair it with this. Now, <clears throat> that goes into that stuff. Now, you know, if you get a hole, like when it comes to electrical systems, a lot of people don't think about carrying stuff for repairing electrical systems. Uh, you you cut wires, tear wires, or whatnot. You're going to want a repair kit for it. This works pretty good as a repair kit. It's cheap. These are all cheap items, but this works pretty good as a repair kit for electricals. You you might run into it, you know. So I'm just kind of throwing it out there. And another thing for testing to see if it's good or bad, or you know what kind of what it's running, you can run something like this. This is just your multimeter. It's always good to have a multimeter, you know, if you've got a bug out vehicle. Uh, this is just a quick circuit tester. You basically just you positive and negative and it just checks to see if it's working or not. The light comes on, boom, there it goes, it works. So it's just a quick check in case you don't want to go playing around with a multimeter. Uh, these are really cheap items, super duper cheap items. Uh, a hole in your tire, uh, you've got spares, you know, everybody's got a spare. I keep a spare and um, I also keep a uh, pump. I don't have the pump sitting here handy, but usually it's just sitting right here and I just grab it, but I think it's already in my, it's in my truck and I forgot to grab it. But I've got a fast um, uh, air compressor, so pump just to pump my tires up, but we'll get more into that stuff later. But this is just a quick re uh, tire repair kit. It's cheaper than buying the uh, full on full kit. There's, there's one that's like six bucks, or you can do this one that's like a dollar and a dollar. But this is your rubber cement and then you get three strips for repairing and the way this works this is your grinder and then this is your insert so it's a double it you know it works it's a two-in-one type screwdriver but it'll repair your tires okay so if you get a uh, I don't know a, goes back to bullet holes I guess I don't know but uh, or a nail whatever it is <laughs> people ask me the strangest question so I have to throw this out here uh, all right, back to this stuff. Epoxy. This stuff works on pretty much anything, concrete to metal, and it's five-minute epoxy. This stuff is great, quick, fast, in a hurry. You need to repair something that's, you know, it, this could go into electrical. This could go into a, uh, a, a, you know, anything from repairing a headlight or repairing, I don't know, just about anything. Freaking windshield wipers. I don't know. It's something, you know, there's all sorts of uses you could use this thing for. I mean, I'm not going to get into all of them, but it's just another option for you to carry. And it's cheap. It's affordable. It's not something expensive. Uh, electrical tape. I keep tons of electrical tape. I always do. I always keep WD-40. This works great if you want to clean an engine up, like the top side of it, and wipe it down. This also works on, you know, your uh, certain types of components where you get water in it. So if you get, like, water and some electrical components... You can blow it out with some WD-40. I know it, a lot of people probably don't use it for that, but it, you got a leaky, you know, squeaky hinge. You can fix that. You know, if you got a mechanism that's rusted up and you need it to move, then you've got something like that. I do the small one. Uh, the small one I usually keep in the Forerunner. I also keep a little. Uh, this is just your smaller set of pliers. This is like a buck. Uh, El Cheapo uh, uh, wrench for just quick grab and and adjustments. Just a flashlight, I keep it with all this stuff. And another option to have is the roadside emergency flares. These things are great. The, I'm, I don't wanna go playing around with one of these, but those of you that have never used this, this one actually comes with a glow stick. So you can have a techno dance party by your vehicle while you're throwing flares everywhere. But the way these things work, you know, I'm not gonna strike one, but I'll show you one. You know, for those of you that have no idea, because you know, I care. But the way these things work, the cap comes off, you know, you've got your cap right there, and there's your striker, okay? And you pull it off all the way, 
you strike this against this and boom and in an instant it becomes this flare that lasts for a very very long time uh, this could also work in a roadside situation say you're stranded on the roadside and it's dead of winter and you want to get a fire started there you go you got an instant fire start but it has its other uses it's great for signaling and letting people know hey look i'm over here or you know don't hit my truck or whatever you know you can lay it down and it's definitely a signal error it's going to let people know that something's up uh quick fast in a hurry to fix a tire not only do you have your tire repair kit but you also have something you can just jab it in and it's an instant spare tire this one's actually better than the fix a flat this one is basically an instant spare tire so if you even if you get a gash in your tire that's pretty deep then you can jab this sucker in there and boom you're back on the road again even if you've got low uh, uh low tire pressure you could add this as well to boost your tire up if you for some reason your compressor's not working but you could actually use this heat is great it's a fuel injector cleaner it's also great for keeping your lines from freezing over if you put one of these per like 16 gallons or so i can't remember the exact amount i, I don't want to tell you a lot to you you can read it for yourself there's words on the back of here it tells you all that but you i keep this in my truck this is something that i constantly add to my truck and it's because i don't want anything happening to my fuel you know also helps with fuel sweating you know your tanks wet stuff like that it causes water and it causes uh truck not run so good so uh these are items that i can keep in my vehicle mystery the marvel mystery oil is amazing you can add it to freaking everything two stroke four stroke uh oil gas you can add it as a it's a rust remover you can scrub off rust with this bad boy you can lubricate parts with it uh <laughs> I don't think there's any off-road dude out there that wouldn't say they keep that they don't keep uh, marble in their car but this stuff is amazing it, it works as a fuel treatment and it'll help your vehicle run better uh, it gets better gas mileage it's uh, there's so much stuff you can add it to every type of oil that there is I mean it's just insanity the amount of stuff that uh, marble actually does I keep extra zip ties not just <clears throat> Not just these, but I also keep the monster zip ties. I've got monster zip ties already in there. Uh, another option to have is now uh, a subscriber and friend of mine sent this in, and I already have the manual one, the, the one you actually pump by hand, but he sent this one in. I, I thought it was pretty interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It, hey, I don't like having to sit there and manually pump fuel, and I can use this for all kinds of different uses. Um, just putting gas in my lawnmower why not but this thing's pretty neat and you can probably look this guy up online somewhere uh, but this goes into the canister or your jerry can this will screw onto your jerry can and you have a different attachment back here all the different attachments for different types of jerry cans or containers and right here it's pretty easy to operate there's your uh, fuel pump right there and this has a nice little resting place that goes right up here so you can stash it to the side I thought that was cool but there's that and then it's just got a simple on and off switch there's on and off that easy and you're pumping fuel so I thought that was really cool and I'm gonna stash that in my vehicle why not you know I've got plenty of room in there so uh, there's that and what else do I have here now shtf scenario now i keep these in my truck and i wanted to share these with you. i've sharpened these you can tell that the front of them are quite clean and they're pretty sharp i've had these for a very long time and i've used them many many times especially when sippy loses the keys to the locks that happens and she loses my keys sometimes but anyways this won't start a truck when she loses my truck keys but it will unlock things for me that i need unlocked and if you've paid attention to the channel i've mentioned many times that if you keep a map in different locations of warehouses and whatnot if it is a total collapse scenario then you might actually need something like this i'm just saying but i keep these in there you can use them for different things you know uh bonk somebody over the head with or whatever you need to do i don't know but anyways i thought i would share that I, this is another thing it's max expedition it's uh, something that i keep uh by my uh, all vehicles have carpet and this sticks directly to carpet and this people always show these magnetic type ordeals 
I don't want a magnetic item scratching up my firearm. So I keep something like this for my Glock along the side of uh, my uh, where my four-wheel drive shifter is. So it just kind of sits right there and I just drop my Glock right in there. And then that's for my spare magazine. Or if you don't have a flashlight on yours, you can keep your flashlight in there and then store your Glock right in there just like that. And I keep that along the side. And these are just things to think about. Um, a change of oil is always important. Uh, I always uh, I always think about it. It's like, hey man, you know, if it was an SHTF scenario and I needed more oil and another oil filter, hmm, that would require a mission of insanity. And I don't think I want to be involved in that. So I would rather have a change of oil and, and, and a spare oil filter in my vehicle. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know if any of this stuff is going to be a little bit overkill for some of you. But uh, it's not for me. So this is what I'm doing. And uh, you can do it if you want to. And uh, I figured I would share. And <laughs> that's what I'm doing today. I'm sharing. All right. I love you guys. You're watching SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. This was Things to Think About. And uh, I want you guys to take it easy. And I hope this gives you some ideas. And share it with your buddies. Please share it with your friends, your hamsters, and all that stuff. Your dog and cat and small turtles. And, uh, if you keep a... Uh, a lobster in your house. I don't know. Whatever you keep in your, as, your, as your pet. All right. I'm rambling again. All right. God bless you guys and gals. We love you. And uh, take it easy.